Hello my fellow drumsticks, I'm Snare and welcome. As you can see, uh, we're in a familiar zone, <laughs> right back in the 2011 area. Let's get into some fun little shenanigans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm heading off into this direction to show you something very interesting. As you can see, this area over here um, cuts off really weirdly. <laughs> uh, there's a village here and yeah, it's just a huge mountain that gets cut off. And you might be wondering, well, why is that? This world was made back on the 2011 version, Minecraft Beta 1.7, meaning that when I switched to the new version, the Nether update, all the chunks that I had not rendered, um, basically were now rendered, but you know, with new generation, leading to this weird world border that you can see right here. So, I was thinking, outside of this world border, why don't we actually, you know, in a sense, break the um, break the aesthetic? And instead of building in the 2011 style, we would build in the new style, in this new version, using all the blocks that we have. In a sense, trying to achieve this mixture of... Ooh mixture of artistic stylizations yes yes so over here for today's for i what okay that's confusing but cool um so i was thinking okay maybe for this first episode why don't i try and build something really cute in this area which i will be naming the wilderness so right here is one of the borders of the world and i was thinking this would be a great place to start building something right just small little house or something to in a sense connect the world together over in that direction is where my new base is the sandstone area and you know i think it would be really cool to have a lot of small little buildings connecting these different areas hi Huh. So first of all, let me explain what I'm planning on doing. As you can see, based on the blocks that I have in here, it's sort of a little like dirt building, right? And the idea is to make a dirt hut, utilizing a lot of flowers and very, you know, raw resources. My idea is to build it somewhere over here carved into this and to make it really modern really cute wait huh this is a what <laughs> this is an old tree does this mean that this is all generated in the what i'm really confused well this is very confusing and i do not understand what the hell is happening here but assuming that uh, <laughs> I don't know, there's... What? I guess I'll just build here as if it's a new version. I'll ignore this weirdness. Yeah. I guess I'll just leave this tree as well. It's pretty cool to have like an old tree that has like upwards logs. Okay, let's get back to building. Okay, so let's let's figure out first the shape. So seeing how I want that tree to be there, I think I'm gonna leave it so it's a bit like lower in the ground in a weird way. I want something like this look. Yeah, it's sort of round and nice. Okay. <laughs> look who joined us. Okay, so something like this, and then I'll go like this. I mean, me. Okay, so I know this looks like ass. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah.
Holy fuck, man. Ivy, what are you doing to me? Hello? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. You scared me! Dude, what happened? I... <laughs> So I was trying to get back here, right? Uh, and I was like, I was walking at first because I only had like five fireworks and I wanted to get more. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just actually use them because I was on my way. Like I was close by and I hit something and I hit something and I again, hit something again and I died. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? I thought it was wild, man. You're such uh, a fucking I, noob. I know. I know. I died like oh. this before too, so don't worry. <laughs> I didn't know how to react. Oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck. Oh, uh, just, oh, run, just run, just run, just run, just run, just run, just run. I am, I am. Oh. Holy oh, fuck, run, like. run, 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 keep running past this. Uh, no, yeah, good. okay, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. Oh, no, oh. here it is, actually. Oh, yeah. thank God. <laughs> I was confused. I'm like, I don't remember Blue. Hi. Hello. So, when you get here, okay. from over here, yeah, that's that's where I got stuck, and then I hit so something. So you can you see if you oh, look, the hill, there's a stream. The yeah, yeah, there's a stream of lava, and you can yeah. just fly towards the stream. <gasps> oh my fucking god! <laughs> I hate gas. Me too, bro. I'm so fortunate for our uh, torches. They're so nice. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> I need... where do you ha have your fireworks stock? <laughs> oh, but it's not over here. <laughs> Don't... oh, I thought, I thought you were gonna say it's on the other side. Is it? It is. <laughs> Gosh, okay. Um... Yes. Uh, okay, so come over here. I'll just fire... I'll just actual fireworks. Here. Oh. Alrighty. I'm finally back after helping crew get their stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> so let's continue working on this little dirt hut. So my plan is to make it sort of round and then texture it using different materials. And I also got torches this time, so it shouldn't be as dark. I Okay, it's taking shape. You gotta just trust the process, okay? I know it looks like ass and like something that a loser would build. <laughs> and it is, but you know, it's it's not looking that bad anymore. You know, it's it's taking shape. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's what I'll say. <laughs> what is this? Huh. Interesting. Yeah, the shape is now really good looking. Now, if we knock a hole into it, <laughs> it looks great. I'm gonna go like this with the window. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, let's switch out some of these materials. Alrighty, and here we are. The build is actually finished now. I'm sorry for not showing any more of the building process. It's just that some of my recordings corrupted. I don't really know what happened. I think I must have ran out of memory, but it's all fine now since the building is finished and we can go on to seeing what I did here. So if you take a small look here, you can see that the entire shape is done and it's really pretty from the outside. As you can see, the shape is complemented by the bushes and the flowers that I added. Also this little potted um, warped fungi. If we go inside here, the interior is very, in a weird way, structured, but also unstructured, which makes it feel very chaotic, but also, mm, in a sense, well put together and homey, too. So this would be Ivy's bed and their chest. And I put some sea pickles here because we all love sea pickles, and I can farm these if I have some bone meal. I decided to mix some coarse dirt inside of here because coarse dirt looks really good mixed in with clear dirt. 
and some more flower pots, wood, which creates a very jarring transition between cobblestone and the actual dirt. But in the same way, it does transition it quite well. Now, down here as well, as you can see, there is a way down into a little cave, which could be Ivy's way of going down deeper into the caves. I also mixed in some coal ore and some gravel and a little window outside. And if we look actually on the outside, on top of this house, on top of the house, there's a little waterway. That's really cute. Some sugarcane. This just grew. The tree over here, that's really cute. Flowers. And what I did, originally I had a lot of bushes here that were covering this area. I decided to clear them because it felt like it was a bit too busy and it was changing the shape and the style of the build. And it looked like it was just ugly. Now I removed them and just left the small flowers and all of the bigger stuff is moved to the back to add color and depth to this little mountainous area. Over here I have some hay bales. Ow. Um, but sadly I don't have any sort of yellow carpets to cover them with. And outside of that, that's really it for this build. It's very simple and it's something that any sort of beginner Minecraft player could build if they just know a bit of building and have some basic materials. You could generally make something really pretty with just some dirt and some cobble. You don't even need the fancy gravel or leaves. So yeah. Sadly, you didn't get to see it either, but Ivy actually did come here and check out the building and gave us their genuine reaction. It's too bad that the recording corrupted, but they were really happy with it and said they would connect it to their base. So that's alrighty. And I guess I failed to mention at the start, but this little dirt hut was supposed to actually be gifted to Ivy. So yeah, now you know, it's supposed to be a little goblin house. <laughs> but now that we're done with this, let's move on to our next project of the day, which I think you'll deeply enjoy. But before that, sleepy time. FYI, I'm drinking milk right now and I have ice in it. Why? I have no fucking clue, but yeah, icy milk. Yummy. Okay, jokes aside now, what are we here for? Well, as you can see, a lot of the areas from the 2011 area are quite unfinished. And an example of that is this building, the tree farm. This really was a place that I used to mine a lot of wood very easily in a very controlled area that looked nice, but I never actually got around to finishing it. Mm, well, actually that's a lie. It's sort of finished. In a sense, if I wanted to, I could leave it the way it is right now. But in my personal opinion, I don't think this should be the way it looks, you know? I think there's a few small adjustments that need to be made that can bring it up to the next level. For example, I can replace the torches from over here with glowstone. I can finish these stairs. So once you go up, there is an actual little flag at the top. I can remove a lot of these torches so, you know, it's not as full of torches. I need to remove some of these chests, which, funny enough, these chests are left over from the Minecraft 1.7 pre-release, beta, whatever it is. Um, they were placed this way, right, like sideways, but when I converted the world, it got split into two. <laughs> I also want to add glowstone or torches in this area where there's water. Oh my, oh my, oh my fucking God. Oh my God. Hello. Oh my God. Hello. Yeah, elytras are a bit buggy, buggy. And I also want to extend this area here. So there's sugar cane all the way around just so it's a bit more textured. And right over here, last thing I want to do is add a bit of texture into this wall, just a little bit like of a dent into it with some sand. And also adding glowstone inside of the, the sand here so it's a bit better lit up during the night. So let's get to it. I think I'm going to start with this area. So one of the things about this area was that light was supposed to spill through it during the day, the midday, and it would look very pretty because everything would be dark, and then there was this light coming through right through the pillars. What I might do is add it over here. 
The other torches are closed, and I think I'm gonna go for the torch. Yeah, it looks pretty okay. Yes, okay, this is perfect. I think it's not li enough lighting. Now, to explain the role of this area, originally it wasn't supposed to be this just beams. There were supposed to be chests on top of chests, but after building it, I realized, oh fuck, chests actually couldn't be placed on top of each other directly. <sighs> so yeah, I decided to just leave it the way it is right now. Uh, let's check over here, so... Oh, but that looks really moody during the night. That's really cool. I love it. Let's go up and fix up the lighting up in this area. I remember I had some really complex ideas for what I wanted to do here, but obviously I dumbed them down because, you know, it's a lot to build. And when you have already a finished build, it's sort of tough to change it in a sense into something that you want it to be so i just left it the way it was okay this is something that needed to be added the glass here expand the pole over here woohoo uh, ow oh. <laughs> that's trippy um and i wanted to make a flag only in this area because over there i don't want the world to look too busy you know There we go. Snaretopia in a torch on the top. Tee hee hee. Hmm. Okay, let's check how this looks. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so fucking bad. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Oh no, 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 I'm not. No, nope, no. Ugh. Fucking stupid ass mobs. Destroying my, my, oh god, my building. Ew. Suck ass, whore. Ugh, you too, bitch. Ugh, I hate those guys. Oh yeah, that's, that's cute. I, I think it looks fine. Yeah, it's, oh my god, it's so cute. It's perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. My, my milk still has ice in it. Okay, so that's done. This whole area is done. Next up. Let's add glowstone in the water. I think I'm gonna add it under the bridges and uh, wherever there's trees parallel to them. There we go. Let's see how this looks during the night. Uh, there should be some nicer glow now as you're walking. Yeah, you see there's the lights spilling onto the walkway. Oh, that feels so lively and nice. Yeah, but over here it doesn't really matter. Yeah, because over, over these it doesn't really matter because it's anyway gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, noise. Holy fuck, is that a fucking plane? Okay, next up, adding lights in these and texturing these walls a little bit. Um, so I just went outside for a second and I don't know if you heard the roaring in the video that was so excessive and I was like, what the fuck, is that a plane? Uh, it was a fucking plane and it flew so fucking close to my house that I legit thought it was about to crash into it. Holy fucking shit, I saw all the rust on the goddamn fucking door of that damn plane. That's how low it fucking flew. <laughs> it was like less than 20 meters above my house. Holy shit, it scared me. <laughs> that was something. Um, yeah, let's, let's do these lights, yeah. 
Oh my god, it's coming back. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> my sand got flung back. Holy. Hello? Oh, I don't have space. Ew, rotten flesh. I want that. Rotten flesh is like the one thing in the game that has absolutely no use. Outside of... Uh, actually, it can be traded for emeralds, but you know. Outside of that, it's like, unless you have a villager breeder and stuff like that, what the fuck are you going to do if, if rotten flesh doesn't have like intrinsic value, you know? They should make it so you could smelt it into leather. I remember that was like a very, very old mod that people really liked using. So I did this. Now it's lit up. And now I want to add some little like <whistles> into it, right? That looks really nice. So I'm going to do it like this. Oh, these are even. What the fuck, man? Okay, that's cute. Uh, I wish I could have expanded it up until here, but here it's gonna just touch this corner and it's not gonna look good. Alrighty, and here we are. We're done. This is actually a very quick project to do. And if you ignore the inner chest and shit that I have here, um, I finished digging this up. It looks very cute, right? In my opinion. There's the light coming through, which actually ends up looking pretty nice. I also did the sugarcane just now expanded it all the way so now it's not just a boring wall that's all yellow we have some nice green in there so if we look over here it's really pretty at night the lights are really pretty if we look from above it's so nice so well lit and just overall good so yeah and the lights are pretty cute it just helps you it just helps you it just helps you sort of okay can you fuck it just helps you sort of localize this area easier and that's really good this is one project entirely done now it's 100 percent finished i don't think there's anything else that i want to add to it or change with that said let's move on to our last project of the day <laughs> ah, ha, ha. we're over at our desert city for our last project of the day. Now, this project is not going to be held here, but it's somewhere really close. Let me explain. So it might not be clear yet, but this place right here is very close to where Ivy stalls bases. Well, planned bases. So this is Ivy stalls place. And as you can see, it's just a little pond right now. It's a naturally generated hard pond can see it's sort of shaped like a heart and ivy stall will be residing here mainly and will be breeding horses you know that's not weird in any way shape or form but if we go back right now you may notice that there's forests and then a huge clearing and if you put the two together from the title of the video i think you realize what this place used to be right and from the distance Yes, this used to be a birch forest, but I have cut it all down in the hopes of building a really interesting project in today's episode. Well, not all of it in today's episode, but hopefully a part of it so you get the idea in today's episode. If we look, it's a really big stretch of land and I thought, you know, a lot of the Minecraft community was somewhat unhappy with the fact that Mojang chose not to update the birch forest, you know, people felt like it was a cop out and like Mojang lied in a sense by showing us the concept art in Minecon and then, you know, just saying, oh, well, it's concept art, you know, you shouldn't have expected anything from us. No, no, no. Well, guess what, bitch? You can expect shit from me. So if we go over here real quick, I have left some shulkers of materials. <laughs> of which I have a lot more at my base. You don't know how much what this was. You don't know how much fucking what this was. Oh, good God. And what we're going to do is we're going to create our own Birch Forest update. Does that seem fun? It does seem fun. So let me take some of these materials and show you exactly what my plan is. 
you can plant a sapling and just grow it and it will grow at a certain height. We all know that, right? But what you can do is you can build up a little bit with some dirt, we'll say four blocks, plant a sapling, and then just bone meal it, and it will also grow. And then if we knock out some of this, uh, this dirt and we take some wood and extend it to the ground, we now have a really tall tree, right? Well, that's cute and all. Uh, it's not really that creative, right? But the thing is, you don't just have to grow one tree. You can grow another tree on top of your tree. Something like this. And now you have a tree on top of a tree. Right? <laughs> you see where this is going? <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to stack trees on top of each other as high up as we can. And basically we're going to create this certain curtain of super tall, weird birch trees, abominations, I mean, beautiful trees that go into a thick forest that leads up to Ivy Stahl's base. And hopefully within this episode, I can get enough done for you to get an idea of how a walkway through this area would look like. Call me crazy, but I think it's just creativity, you know? I think crazy people are the most creative people. <laughs> so yeah, my plan is over the season to just slowly expand this. And I don't know, I don't need to do it like between episodes or during episodes, I'll see what I want to do. Or maybe Ivy or would help me. I mean, technocosm. So yeah, let's get to this and let's see how tall we can get these trees. So first, let's start by collecting some of this dirt and actually putting down a few pillars and let's get the general idea of how tall this forest should be. First, I'm gonna base this area on the top trees. That means that the trees that go up here will dictate how tall these trees grow. So let's plant some trees over here. I would say three blocks above ground should be tall enough. And I'm not gonna focus too much on making the trees, you know, perfectly aligned or shit like that. You know, it's supposed to be a forest and it's supposed to be a somewhat easy project. Oh, it's night. Sleepy. Sleepy time. Roar. I'm definitely not drinking beer during a Minecraft Let's Play for children. Well, this is not for children. I'll show you why. Fuck. Okay, I hope all the children left. This is such a stupid fucking idea. <laughs> Everything for the clickbait title though. Mm -hmm. Oh, one of the trees already grew. That's really nice. So if we look, all the entire canopy of this forest is gonna be around that level over there. So when you walk here, the trees are gonna be insanely tall. And you're just gonna have this little pathway going through here and probably through this cave or somewhere that leads to the other side. I think this is really cool. Alrighty, and here we are a few hours later and, um... <laughs> oh no, this looks so goddamn goofy. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so, so let's have a little look. This is sort of the density of the forest that I would want. Maybe a bit more dense. As you can see, not all the trees grew because I didn't get to bone meal all of them. So all of this dirt right over here would be replaced with birch logs. And on top of the birch logs, I would have more birch trees going upwards with different lengths to them. So in a sense, we're trying to create this sort of cascading form of leaves or something. What I need to do next is to now replace all of this dirt with wood and see how it would look. And then on the, on top of the trees that already grew, plant some more trees and sort of try and extend this. Yeah, that was my new, new single out. It's called uh, Ass. Oh, yikes, this is a lot of wood to go through. That's what your mom said. 
Sleepy time. Another swing of my beer. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, good God, this looks. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this looks interesting, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a cool idea. Like, add little exterior branches to these. Okay. That's something that I'm going to do, that I ought to do. <laughs> These are some tall, skinny trees. Good God, slay skinny queens. The only thing missing from here, I think, is some foliage. Um, I'm going to bring in some flowers, sort of like the original birch forest. Ah, fuck. True gamer move. Fuck. Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ha ha ha. This is looking mighty fine. I would say. So as you can see, I've replaced out all the owl tree trunks with birch. And as you can see, the vibe here is immaculate. If we just go down a little. Oop, it's really pretty and it definitely feels like you know like it's a tall forest in a sense <laughs> and it's gonna look even cooler once i add the next step of the process which is the next trees and then 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 the so what i might do is just cut through like this yeah get a little bit of birch and then plant the dirt a bit taller than a normal birch tree and then on the next one I would start using normal birch tree heights yes so I'm gonna go around to every tree and just go four blocks and then a sapling ow ow and I'll see you once I am done with that Jesus fucking Christ man this <laughs> What is this? What? Okay. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What? <laughs> what? Oh, I forgot to... Ow. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> what is this man? What is this? Oh, this is such a fucking stupid idea. Who made me do this? Who made me update the fucking birch forests? So <laughs> yeah, um, as you can see, I finished the build. <laughs> well, it's not finished in reality. What my plan is, is to extend it all the way around where the birch forest usually would, would have been. So before I removed the birch forest, it extended all the way around here and up until there. Right now it's only this, but as you can see, it's a lot of work. This took me the entire day to do, which it's not okay to work this much on a single project. It's brain rot, <laughs> but it looks okay, I would say. From afar, it's really a really cool landmark in a sense. It definitely doesn't feel like it's tall enough. You know, as tall as it already is, it reaches Y over a hundred. Let's go and check it out. It's already over a hundred. And as you can see, I didn't remove the dirt yet. Oh, well, I'll do that some other time, but it's, uh, it's a very stupid and dumb project. I can't see anything, good God. It's a very stupid project, but what you can notice is that between these trees at each level, there is this sort of natural landscape forming that could very easily be connected 
and turned into a cool uh, base or just build, you know? And I think that's really cool and it offers Ivy or Techno the opportunities to expand on this cool idea. With a little few adjustments here and there, this could be an amazing build. But as of right now, I'm gonna be real with you. That's it for today. No, 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 no more. Alrighty, and that was it for this episode. I'm really happy with what we managed to finish. We worked on Karu's house, which she loved. We worked on the tree farm from 2011. And we did this entire humongous biome. Although not fully finished, I'm still happy with it. We updated the Minecraft birch forests, unlike Dirty Mojang. Ew. But yeah, I also wanted to say before finishing the video that I know that, you know, my content is a bit clickbaity <laughs> and I'm aware of it and I'm gonna be completely real with you. I don't think I care. <laughs> I know this sounds a little uh, poopy, but in, in a sense, I'm, I'm a music channel. I'm not a fucking Minecraft YouTuber. I don't do this for a living. So I don't think I care that my contest is, you know, legit or stuff. I'm just having fun. And I'm, I, I find it funny to do weird clickbaity titles. Even though technically I'm doing the stuff that, you know, the titles have. Last episode, it was actually a, a year spent on the 2011 uh, seed. This episode is actually, in a sense, updating the birch forests. Next episode is going to be X or Y or whatever I'm going to call it. So, you know, take, take the videos with a grain of salt. I, I'm not here to, to, to actually clickbait you. I'm not really making any money from this. So, you know, I'm just enjoying, enjoying playing Minecraft. <laughs> but next episode, I've got some cool footage recorded. I think you'll really enjoy what I'm going to get up to next episode. So, yeah. I hope to see you next episode. Have a good night or a good day, whatever. See ya.